Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 10B, and uh, we're just going to uh, build on something that came up in the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we created a work Wi-Fi profile so that when we connected to the Wi-Fi at work, a certain set of settings were triggered. And when we disconnected, when we left, we had an exit task to trigger a different set of settings for leaving work. Uh, and in that, we added just for fun, a text message I got sent saying I'm on my way home. Of course, as I discussed in the last lesson, that's going to trigger, this is going to trigger every time you disconnect from Wi-Fi. So even if it's just to go to lunch, that's going to trigger, and maybe you don't want that to happen. You only want it to happen when you uh, uh, are leaving at the end of the day. So I deleted that, uh, that action from that task, and we're going to create a separate profile that handles that for us. We're going to start over here in task, and we're going to create a new task by clicking the plus button. We're going to call this 101 uh, text home. Click the check button. Now we're going to add an action. We're going to click the plus button. Phone. Send SMS. Number. If you click the a little uh, uh, search button, then it takes you to your contacts, and you can pick a number that way. There, let's click roadside assistance. And then the message, let's see, leaving work, be home soon. And that's it for that. So we're gonna click done, and there's no other actions we want. Uh, necessarily, uh, we could add, let's add another one just for the fun of it. Let's add an alert and a uh, flash. So this is just a quick little box. It says text sent to spouse. Just so it reminds you uh, uh, that that has happened. And the flash, because we're not going to actually be able to test this or show you, but a flash, uh, you probably see this on your Android phone from time to time. It's a small little box, usually down here in the bottom, that just flashes up. And usually is there for about three seconds. Um, and you could do a different type of thing. Uh, you could go alert, and you could choose maybe a, a pop-up or... Uh, you could do a notify, something else that would stay a little bit longer until you dismissed it. So it would def you would make sure you saw it and were reminded, hey, I just, I, got, I just texted home. And the flash will just flash up at the bottom to let you know that it's done it. Uh, but you wouldn't, uh, you know, if your phone's in your pocket and you disconnect from Wi-Fi, obviously it's only going to be there for three seconds. You wouldn't see it when you pull your phone out of your pocket. Uh, so just to let you know what that does. So we're going to go back here. So now uh, we have uh, text home, 101 text home. So let's go to profiles and set up a profile to trigger that. We're going to click the plus button. We're going to call this 101 connected. We're going to choose the Wi-Fi from the list. We'll choose the last one, same one we chose for the last lesson, um, which is GGDFF. Now obviously we don't want this to happen when we connect Wi-Fi. We want to happen when we disconnect. So we're going to click the invert button. So whenever you click invert under uh, context, it switches it to the opposite. So since the state is when Wi-Fi connects, Wi-Fi connected, by clicking invert, we've changed it to Wi-Fi disconnected. And that's going to ask us for the task we want to connect to this trigger. And we're going to use the one we just created, which is 101 text home. So right now, we have pretty much the same thing we had before. Anytime it disconnects, it's going to trigger uh, a text to home saying I'm on my way home. Well, we don't want that to happen anytime. We only want it to happen when we're leaving work, 
to go home. So we're going to long press on uh, uh, the, pro the context and add an additional context. Add another context and add, uh, let's say, day. Well, let's say time, because if we're at work, we're not going to be at work on the weekends. It's not going to matter. So you could do day and time and do Monday through Friday and a certain time, but it doesn't matter for Saturday and Sunday because you're never going to connect to your work Wi-Fi on Saturday and Sunday unless you're at work. So let's say time and uh, let's see, normally you work between 5 and 5.30. So we'll, to be safe, we'll say any time from 4.45. Or it's military time to six, and six would be eighteen hundred hours. So that's yeah, four forty-five. So now we have two contexts. If it's between four forty-five and six o'clock, so four forty-five to six p.m., and our phone disconnects from this particular Wi-Fi then it will trigger the text to home. Then and only then. So if you disconnect from this Wi-Fi during the day because you're at work and you're connected but you leave to go to lunch and disconnects, it's not going to trigger that text to home because you're not in the uh, uh, time parameters that you set up. This will only trigger when both of these contexts have been met. It's between 4.45 and 6 p.m. and you disconnect from the Wi-Fi. So that's the way that uh, I would create um, a text separate from this work Wi-Fi. This is just all about settings. Anytime you're at work, you want these settings to be effective. Any time you leave work, even just for lunch, you want these settings to be uh, uh, triggered. Whereas this is something you only want to happen when you disconnect and it's between a particular time. And so that's how I would do that. And that's the end of this lesson. Uh, please click the like button if you like the lesson. Uh, share this with uh, anyone you know who might be interested in uh, setting up this type of task. Or maybe they don't have Tasker and you know that they, they knew all the things they could do. They'd want it. You could share this with them. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Favorite the playlist. Keep up with future uh, Tasker lessons. And uh, that's about it. Until next time. So... Have fun with Tasker.